What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to configure multiple applications that are running on two different ports to be accessible through port 80 using Apache web server. So suppose you have a server and you are hosting two applications. Uh, one is a.com which is running on port 3000 and another one is b.com which is running on port 3001. So we want you uh, these applications which are running on two different ports on the server to be accessible by uh, hostname a.com and b.com. We don't want users to uh, know which uh, port actually those applications are running. So users should be able to access these applications just by their hostname. They don't have to know the actual port number on which these applications are running on the server. To do that, uh, we can use Apache Web Server configurations. So in the previous video, we uh, run that Hello application, which is a Node.js application again. So in the previous video, we run that application Hello, which is actually running on port 3000. So if you go and access localhost 3000, so I'm gonna just gonna close these things. Okay, so localhost 3000, and you get this hello app which is uh, index.ejs page on the root so on the root we uh, serve index.ejs page which is this view so what i have done here is i have just copied the same application and renamed it to codify so it's the same application and i have also changed the header so that we can easily differentiate between these two applications and we're gonna run this application on port 3001. So hello app is running on port 3000 and this codify app is going to run on port 3001. So let's run this application. So I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna go inside codify and just gonna say node.js server.js and this application is running on port 3001 so if you go to port 3001 localhost 3001 you will see codify app so on port 3000 we are running hello app on port 3001 we are running codify app now we want users to be so suppose if you have a host name and you have attached the host name say a.com to this application which is running on port 3000 so users should be able to access this application just by saying a.com they don't have to specify the port on which this application is running and similarly for codify app if you have a host name b.com users should be able to access this application just by saying b.com they don't have to specify the port number 3001 on which that uh, application is actually running on the server so we can do that using apache web server configuration so let's see how to do that so now we have two applications running one is hello and one is codify on two different ports so let's edit the configuration file uh, this is the file we're gonna edit so in the previous video we are using this configuration so i'm gonna just edit this configuration a bit so in this case we're gonna use server name and i'm gonna name it say say i'm gonna name it uh mahtabalam.net and i'm also going to provide a alias server alias which will be www.methalbalm.net so even if uh, they type uh, methalbalm.net or www.methalbalm.net they should uh, proxy to the application that is running on port 3000 so let's create another virtual host for our another application that is running on port 3001 so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna just paste it after this definition let's paste it here so in this case our host name will be say let's make it kazan.travel kazan.travel 
and alias will be dab 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 dot kazan dot travel kazan dot travel and this will be proxy to application that is running on port 3001 and one more thing you should do when you using apache web server is preserve the host uh, uh, that is coming in like host uh, header that are coming in the request so we will say proxy preserve it's not necessary but you should do it proxy preserve host and we will set it to on and in this case also we're gonna set it to on so proxy preserve host and we will set it to on proxy preserve host is set to on so we have configured our two host names to be set a proxy to an application that is running on port 3000 and another one that is running on port 3001 so if now i go to metabalum.net i will get this application that is running on port 3000 which is hello app and if i go to kazan.travel it will take me to this application that is running on port 3001 which is codify application so let's save it and exit and let's reload our configuration in apache let's reload and provide now apache is reloaded now this to work i have to resolve this mehtavalam.net and kazan.travel to my local uh, machine that i'm running on so for that to work i will change the etc host file otherwise uh, if i type mehtavalam.net it will go to internet and find out the dns for that uh, host name so DNS resolution will happen on internet and I don't want that to happen so for that we can use etc host file so let's edit that file sudo nano etc hosts and password so if I type uh, these things it should resolve to my local machine so if I type mehtavalam.net, it should resolve to my local machine. Again, if I travel, uh, type kazan.travel, it will resolve to my local machine. Then only those uh, Apache configurations will work. Otherwise, it won't work. But in if you have uh, host names uh, which are configured to your server, you don't have to do that in your production environment because this request will automatically be coming to your server this is just for demo purpose we are doing it in our local machine so I'm just gonna save it control O and control X and we have already reloaded so now if I type methodalum.net I will get hello app yep it's working and if I type kazan.travel I should get uh, codify application and that's working so an application that is running on port 3000 we can access it by host name without even specifying the port number and an application that is running on port 3001 codify application we can access it again without specifying the host uh, port uh, port number so this is how and just to demo how we can do it with host we have changed this uh, host name in our etc host file so that dns resolution happens on the local machine so that's how we can configure multiple applications using apache web server uh, so they uh, they can be accessible through port 80 so hope you find it helpful cheers and have a great day